Cheers, everyone. Cheers to, cheers to 25. Cheers to 25 years old, everyone. Two days ago, it was my birthday. I celebrated in Joshua Tree. It was the most perfect birthday, honestly. It was exactly what I needed. I celebrated in Joshua Tree. Yesterday I went to dinner with my family, and tonight we're going to dinner with the girls. And you know uh, we have to go all out with the girlies, so I'm going to... Uh, do some makeup right now. I want to look super cute. We're going out to din. I don't really know how to say the restaurant that we're going to's name. I think it's Citronis. Citronis, Citronis, Cic. Citronis. It's a uh, Italian restaurant. I should be able to say that, uh, but we'll find out tonight. For today's video, I know it's just it's another birthday video, birthday content. But you know what? That's just what my birthday is. That's what my birthday has always been. I just, I want to drag it out as long as I can on my YouTube channel because there's so many fun videos. We got to prep with me. We got a birthday vlog. We got to get ready with me. It's like, why, why not? It's also Gemini season, so fitting. But I wanted to do a video talking about 25 things I've learned at 25. And I'm not doing this like a compilation of everything I've learned leading up to 25. I'm doing mostly things that I learned in the past year of my life. I wish I had done this before. I don't know why I didn't write down these things like at 23 or 24, but we're starting now. It's never too late to start. That is a lesson that I learned this year. <laughs> Base done. Number one. Number one, something I tell you guys all the time and I will never ever stop telling you it because it is one of my biggest lessons this year and it is being kind to yourself will get you through most of your days. It will pick you up when you need it. It will help the people around you. It will help your relationships with the people around you. I really believe that being kind to yourself is the key to true peace and true inner peace. Number two, I learned this from a close friend of mine, but sometimes you just need to zoom out and see that this is only a small, really small part of your whole story. So don't stress. Don't stress about it too much. I've learned to calm down a lot more and just zoom out and see the bigger picture. Next one, 20 seconds of courage will make the best stories. This is one that I had to add on because one of my friends, Haley, has been telling this to me a lot. She's like, 20 seconds of courage is all it takes. You are nervous, you're scared, you're uncomfortable, feel it all and do it anyways. When you look at 20 seconds, you're like, Psh, I can do that and figure it out as you go along. Next one is tomatoes are actually really, really good and I've just been a pussy my whole life. I used to hate tomatoes, absolutely despise them. Now, honestly, I look forward to getting them on my sandwiches, on my salads, on literally everything. Now I love tomatoes. That's a shocker. Guys, I have had something in my teeth this whole time. Did you guys see it? Probably. Next one is my relationship with myself is something to nurture, something to check in on, something to make time for. No relationship will ever save you besides the one with yourself. It truly is the most important. Next one, you probably need more blush because it's gonna fade. I'm just kidding, that's not one of them, but honestly, could be. The actual next one is brown hair is my color. Let's all, let's all collectively say it together. Brown hair was the move. It was, it was. I've never felt more like me. And this is it, this is it y'all, this is it. This is real, this is me. It's dirty right now, but still. Biggest lesson was uh, that I just had to go back to my natural hair color. It happens to the best of us. Next one is, it's not so much that I've learned this. Well, kind of. I have learned to actually let myself feel like I have a good heart and good intentions, which is a weird one. This one is actually like really deep and vulnerable for me, but I have had to shed the narrative and image that others have put on me. I've had to let it go, realize that I am so much more than the things that others were trying to pin on me or the way that others were trying to make me look at myself. I know my intentions and I know my heart and, um, no one can come in between the way that I look at myself anymore. Next one is, it's kind of shit to realize this, but going back to the basics of taking care of yourself, like getting enough sleep, eating healthy foods, getting movement in, going outside, journaling, taking your vitamins, seeing your friends, touching some grass, it, it's what makes you feel good and you just have to do it. 
when people say like uh, journal and move your body and go outside and eat some vegetables, do it. It, it works. Next one is actually a really, really big lesson and that is the future is going to be better than anything that I can imagine right now because I will be present. I will be in a different phase of my life. I'll be in a different mindset. I'll be knowing different things. So don't stress about it as much as I have been. Just be where I am right now. And that's all I could do. I know I've said this about a couple other ones, but this one actually is my favorite, okay? Being given the opportunity to be alone is a gift. Use it wisely. Not everyone sees it like that. And I'm very glad that I did look at it in that way. And I didn't, I didn't hate on being alone. Um, I saw it as a gift and I took it with me. Being alone is a beautiful thing. A very, very beautiful thing. You learn so much about yourself. Next one is very fitting for tonight since I'm seeing my friends, but friends truly do, do become your family in your 20s. You start to see how certain people will be in your life forever and you know it for certain. And it's a really, really good feeling. A big lesson that I've had to learn is to give people grace because everyone is also doing life for the first time and they're also just figuring out. And a long time, people are projecting their own experiences, traumas, insecurities, journeys just on you and you can't take things too personally. You really can't. So give them grace and uh, focus on you. Next one's kind of like a like a like a hard one to realize. I think a lot of the time in your 20s people think that you just need to like hustle in silence and like not post things and just like do your own thing and then come out with like this big idea or this big project or this big phase in your life and just like shock the world. But I think tell the person your idea. Don't be telling like absolutely every person, but tell people. You never know how others can help and how willing they are to be in your corner and you don't have to do it all on your own. You honestly will be shocked the places that those little interactions will help you go to. Ooh, kind of a hard one, but healing your heart fucking sucks. Your trauma really gets posted up right in your face and you are forced to deal with it. You are forced to see it for what it is and uh, move through it because you learn that you have to go through it because running away, you will never catch your breath. You'll never catch a break. The only way to get through it is to go through it. Sometimes people come into your life to teach you how to love, and sometimes people come into your life to teach you how not to love. This one Natty actually taught me is that not every person that you have a deep connection with or feel certain things for will be in your life forever. Sometimes you're just meant to experience those connections and appreciate them for what they are let them pass through you and then let them go. Sometimes those people aren't meant to be in your life forever and that's just the shitty truth. But that just means that you're able to experience so many different beautiful connections with different people and that's a beautiful way to look at it. Okay, phone died so we are now moving over here. Next one. I am never complete. I am never a final form. I am never finished. I am ever changing, ever evolving, ever growing being, but I am complete within myself. I am worthy and whole at every step of my journey. I put a lot of blush on. <laughs> Next one is pour into cups that also pour back into yours. Next one is a hard truth, but I heard someone say this a while ago. You can never make someone love and appreciate you by giving them more of something that they already don't appreciate. Real love does not take convincing. And that's a hard truth. This next one is one that I really, really learned to appreciate, but it is taking pictures just all the time. Ones that are just for me are just for the memories. Ones that are so raw and so real and like not aesthetic or cute looking. And those are the ones that I appreciate and look back on the most and look back on so, so fondly. I always put an emphasis on the people that you surround yourself because it's so important at this age. But if you are sitting at the table with all the wrong people, how do you expect to make room for the right people? How do you expect them to find a seat. You have to make room for good people and good energy in your life. And the only way to do that is by saying no to all the wrong ones. You have to start saying no to make room for the right ones. 
Now I'm gonna move on to my hair. This is a lesson that I learned a while ago, but it's something that has really, really helped me get through this year. The way that you feel matters way, way, way more than the way that you look. Not only physically, but also on the inside. The way that something makes you feel matters way more than how you look to other people. How you feel on the inside and how you feel about yourself matters way, way more than how you even look on the outside. My friends always tell me this one, but money will come back. And that doesn't mean be stupid with it and spend it on all different things, but don't be scared of spending money like I have been. Think of it as an energy exchange. You are exchanging it for good memories, good times, things that you know will bring great energy and great times into your life. Be smart, but don't be scared. Take whatever mask off you're wearing. Be direct, be raw, be real, be wild, be yourself, love so courageously and fiery and ferociously, if that's a word. Things will feel so much more real and hit so much more deeply to your core if you are your true self and if you touch things without gloves on. That was something that I heard a while ago. Touch things without gloves on. It waters things down. It makes you feel it not as much. Take them off, fully dive in, and, and be yourself and uh, enjoy it. A huge thing that everyone does in their 20s is compare themselves to other people because so many people are at so many different points in their lives in their 20s. And it may seem like people are getting better opportunities than you. People are cooler than you. They're doing cooler things than you. They are just like luckier than you in different senses. And sometimes that's true and sometimes I, that's not. All you can do is just focus on yourself and your journey and how you're feeling and how you're doing because focusing on other people and paying attention to those things will only take away from your journey. And ow, it will take away how sweet the things that you're doing are and how sweet your life is if all you're doing is thinking about theirs and comparing it to theirs. You don't know people's full story and you don't know what like shit they are going through and you're not supposed to. Last lesson of this video is letting go and detaching is one of the hardest but also most valuable lessons I will ever learn. Flow through life because whatever's meant to happen is going to happen. Whatever people are going to be in your life will be in your life no matter how tight of a grip you have on it. So just let go, flow, just be, and enjoy. That's all I got for y'all. This is the final outfit, final look. We're ready for my birthday dinner. See you there.